69 here, boom! So, I'm gonna play on this today until dawn. Played it recently just to, to see what it's about so I can do a video. And it's fucking mad, like you've got all these butterfly effect choices, so fuck that. I'm gonna do the options that I didn't pick before. And I know what how the story goes, but it's different endings and shit, so I'm gonna go from that. So as you can see, let's see, I'm gonna go to a, a new story. Um like I say, you, you pick different options, so I'm gonna go against the ones that I've done before, apart from you know, you'll see anyway, but yeah, I'll I'll tell you along the way. And when I played it before, I had the volume down because it was scaring the fucking shit out of me. So, you might hear a grown man scream. Let's go. Yes. The butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. It is, it's, it's a great game, this man. Um, if you get a chance to play on it, the smallest decision can dramatically affect. See, I change the future, fuck knows. But if you get a chance to play on it, do, because it is fucking class. Like I say, I played with the volume off and subtitles on last time, because it was just fucking scaring shit out of me. Come on, then, you bastard. Your story. It's one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Beautiful, beautiful. Hello. It's cold out here. Make me sneeze and shit. Black sea shit and much shit. I'm just sneezing. There's a scary man. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and just because you can I love her gang ball. She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Ooh, let's get in our one. Someone Josh. outside. So on this, um, things glow that you can interact with, which is good. Oh, if I can just remember what I can fucking interact with. Anything over here? No? Okay. Oh, there we are. So glints. And then I have to press R2 and then flip it over. Had a... You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike! Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Nice graphics, as you can see. Anything over here? Can't fucking remember. Not to press. To walk faster, you press L1. Remember that. Oh, use the right stick to look around objects that didn't can be inspected. Oh, oh what's this one down here? What is, oh, what is it? Oh, I just fucking done that one. 
Dick face. Press R2 to hold up the bottle. Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, yeah. So last time I went to find the others, let's see what happens when I wake Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck! So fuck off, they didn't even fucking Guys, wake up. Oh, there's someone outside. Point. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Dick faces. Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, oh, oh shit. I should get a member this right. Do faster, I see it. Get it faster, folks. Oh, this one. Shadow follow footprints. Shadow it is. <laughs> That's it. Get the four now. So uh, I don't think it's a time to take selfies. Ah, using it as a torch. Yes, it's a tree. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Hello? Oh. Hello? Whoa. I don't get a bad feeling about this. I'm scared. They see a bit of the future, aren't they? Nice. So that gives you a bit of a, a look at the future depending on what options you fucking pick, apparently. Oh, fuck off. I think there's a reason I didn't play with the fucking music on. Hannah! <coughs> oh man, little bastard. Oh! Okay, now. Hannah! Hannah! Hello? Hannah! Oh my god! 
He must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. It's so dumb. Hannah, is that okay? guy is creepy as fuck but Dr. AJ Hill before we begin there are a few things I need to make sure you understand you see no one can change what happened last year the past is beyond our control you have to accept this in order to move forward but there is freedom in this revelation Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Yay. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Get out my face. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. You look like a fucking pervert, you dick face. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Well, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? What if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Hmm. I wouldn't care. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting or something. I wonder what it is that doesn't frighten you. I really do. You fighting me, you fucking weirdo. Well, what a shame. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Definitely a pedal.
Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still Donald Trump. a sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Porn yes. stars, hey. I'd want to get out in the middle of nowhere, to be fair. Friendship? Ten hours until dawn. Oh. 
Sam had his best friend contrived adventurous diligent hot hello someone there past the cable car station Who's the right? Oh, yeah. Okay, dokey, so let's have a look at this bad boy. The gate's busted, climb over. Chris. Bushes here. I like the way you can see the uh, footsteps left in the snow. Daft little details like that that impress me. Oh. Surprisingly hard to fucking keep the controller still when it's vibrating. If you're unsure of what I do next, you can see the current objective by pressing R1. Right, because that helps. Our current objective. Head to the cable car station. No shit. Alright, let's get up here. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived here in lived, in lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. So, death. Black butterflies prophesied the dream is death, danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events, loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends, guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Alrighty then. Oh. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem and turning it will reveal the colour of the butterfly. Premonition of possible future. Okay. in this game. Well, for me anyway, but I'm a fucking chow, so never mind. The past is beyond our control. On a map? Chris? You here? Door locked. Well, that's fucking helpful. Oh. 
I'm just crap one off in the fucking bush there, aren't I? Fly effect appears when actions have changed the narrative of the game. Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Protective, humorous, methodical. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Crosses. Oh man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit? Victor Milgram. Looks like someone thought so. Oh come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Collect truths to solve mysteries of until dawn of Christian trust to survival. Blah de blah de blah. What a dick. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Right, so now I'm taking over Chris. All right, here goes. Well, it's no modern warfare. Boom! Headshot. Boom! Boom! Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna You're a bad go fucking ahead dancer. Was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, no, I don't think so, girl. Could shoot a bottle that big that close. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Fuck that. No animal will be killed at this part <laughs> in the game. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, yes, I'm playing Chris. I was wondering what the fuck was going on there. Right, it's rising over here. Nope, it's just fucking walking to the wall like a dick. What that you were fucking dickheads. Poor lass. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. <laughs> it was me. I wonder why that was. So we could check you out. Oh. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium, is that right? For a healthy what a body and mind. Please to set up house. No matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Can't leave the bottom mountain. It's good that it highlights what you can actually fucking use rather than you fucking spending ages just trying to find out. Oh. 
But oh, pardon me. Scaring the burps out of me. Oh, he's walking in the fucking old face. Nothing else to see here. Finally, you coming? Oh yeah. yeah well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. And the car. Just like going to the prom. Try and cup a feel. Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. It was a good idea. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know, like, if you feel guilty, you get to have you know Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. Cool story, bro. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right I'm now, sure she would or prefer that. talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. Yes, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. What the fuck does that mean? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, right. What have we got? Are you walking out your door? Oh, fuck. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys Sick. having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. What a doyle. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, Tool an and die. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. Well, hey. What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh, whoever. Sam. <gasps> Did you see this view? I it mean, is beautiful. Now. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex, resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. 
Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? A fucking bellboy. A bellboy, yo! Chills. We're almost there. Oh, one no, kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular. Definitely thing. a bitch, aren't I? Carrying all the shit. Oh, Jesus! Oh. <laughs> Intelligent, driven, persuasive, Mike Emily's ex. <laughs> you got also dickless. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost should have seen my fucking face. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods, it's spooky. Come on. Sweat. Let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't God. Like, that. like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just going to lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's going to suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys going to make out now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Totally. We're so going to make out. Uh, no, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Shut Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need you to go know find what her. She's I totally doing. I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Come on, be a bitch. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. She's a fucking bitch. Thank you. Bitch. Don't know who's a bigger bitch. Here and it still fucking scares me. That's a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, fourth rider. Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. Select the expiration date on their big breakup. I knew it was coming as well. What did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you? Oh my gosh, oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No, uh, it's yeah, busted. It's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Nope. Uh, no, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. Alright. Uh, sure, if you say so. Oh, butterfly effect updated.
check phone or read book let's read the book eh? I'll just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Kinky. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Boom! Headshot. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Boom. Oh! Ah. Hey! Oh. oh, snap! Hello? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike. Boom. Oh, you got me. Good shot. Uh, <laughs> Game is flirting going down. Pathetic. Sometimes nothing is the best. Is the right you can't thing to do. hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I'm not gonna fucking shot a snowball or bird, am I? Fucking hell. Some kind of fucking sick out. Oh, right. Point just. And then what? Oh, no more. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe later. Yeah. Gotcha. Done. Done city. So, did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. Uh, all right. All right. My, my. So, are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Do it, do it, do it. Feel a bit gay. Wow. Actually Save doing that. For later, buddy. Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Sorry. Well, that, well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Oh, is there someone in it? 